And the other benefit of uh, leveling up intellect is that it makes you really, it makes the, um, I don't know why that's a sequitur to clubbing that zombie girl to death. It makes you good at uh, stunt. I don't think he knows we're here. I guess he's waiting till we're finished looking at the menu. Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back playing Seven Day. today and we are back at the Dijon mustard challenge and it's the morning of day 14 all right so um here's our sitch right we have a desperate need of experience but it's the classic conundrum how do i get a job if i don't have any experience and how do i get experience if i don't have any zombies well the answer is simple. It's Horde Day. <laughs> now, that's not going to get us leveled up. How many do we need? Uh, uh, we don't even have uh, smart guy glasses. We don't even have smart guy glasses. So we are hosed. Um, so we can't even get that secret, secret bump. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13 and then once we get here but wait there's more once we get there we need another four to get to steel and another five to get to quantum conundrum so we can fly our buttocks out of here so that's nine plus 13 that's a jillion pretty sure it's a jillion and that's if and that is assuming that we put points in nothing else so I think for future travelers I don't know it's hard to say I mean I think I would pick very few like non intellect things that you're gonna put points into and cut it off at a couple and then just put everything into intellect and just try to bear down just like your mama said um, just stay in school <laughs> stay in school all right so we can make a pumpkin bread um so let's do that all right we can make pumpkin bread um do we have more corn do we have more corn no we don't have any more corn all right so let's put all of this stuff back now for the horde night i've been kind of contemplating with my big midnight designer brain what to do right because um ammunition scarce um Okay, do we even have I've lost track of like what we have where we don't even have we don't even have a shotgun or a sawed off shotgun or any kind of anything. All right. So, let's just get our cone cone or pumpkin bread. I don't I guess I like pumpkin. I was going to say I don't even like pumpkin bread, but I I saw it's I it's I, you know. All right. So, so I think I'm, what I'm going to do, instead of trying to fight the horde on that, um, on that bridge thing, I th think our secret plan to fight inflation um, is, uh, that was a secret West Wing joke for those of you who are paying attention. Um, I think we're going to build a stage on those stairs that go like up like out of the lobby up to the second floor 
I think we're going to build a stage there and then defend from that. But first, I want to run up to the roof and see if um, how our trees is doing. Because uh, I do not know when the last time we checked trees. Oh, I almost forgot the hammer. That would have been a hassle. Um, let's see. And I'm also thinking we are now switching to. Let's see here. The crossbow does 32 damage. This does 36. I mean, it's for, for all intents and purposes, it's the same damage. It's not like, it's not like a so clearly one over the other. So the conundrum becomes... Which one do we lean into for the horde? I'm thinking it's crossbow. Maybe. Um, I don't know. For me, in Alpha 18, the bow is so finicky to fire that uh, as far as like the the drawing back and stuff. I feel like the crossbow is just more reliable in a horde situation for repeated, um, for repeated use. So I think, uh, uh, it's going to be crossbow bolt final answer. All right, let's, uh, head up to the roof. I've uh, moved all of the trees in, uh, by move. I mean, cut down all the trees that weren't on the roof uh, because as they were getting bigger, they were like uh, crowding into the building, obviously with their leaves. And um, it was making it very difficult to see the enemy and see that he was us. So um, I just, there's, okay. So there are other zombies. Oh, there are a lot of zombies. I was not counting on this. I kind of had assumed that this RL was pacified. Well, you know what they say about when you assume. Oh. Funny story. I haven't planted any trees. I have sa made the roof safe for democracy by uh, plugging up all the places for zombies to spawn but on the sad note uh, I didn't actually plant any of those trees we were talking about so, hmm. so okay so a uh, new plan we are go whoa hi hey, howdy bin business mans and other business mans how many of you are in here are you all coming? Yes, you are. Like, are you all coming back? Domino, I got It was an allegory. It was an allegory. Chomp. Is he dead? He's not. Okay. I just want to make sure that we got all the ones that we woke up. Because I don't want to get down there and start constructing stuff and then find out we got visitors. I'm going to need more pain pills and more water to wash them down. Otherwise, I'll get a tummy ache. 
Did you come from here? Or up one more? You didn't come from there. Because uh, they're still sleeping. Must have been in here. Must have been in here. I don't know why I'm tempting fate. That was fairly predictable. That was fairly predictable. Is this is this what the cheerleader becomes after she graduates? Cause um, she's got like the same walk and stuff. So you know all those jokes we make about the cheerleaders. Solid in the STEM programs for sure, right? Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, Coolio? On your knees in the night, say your prayers in the street light. And the other benefit of uh, leveling up intellect is that it makes you really, it makes the, um, I don't know why that's a sequitur to clubbing that zombie girl to death. It makes you good at uh, stunt. I don't think he knows we're here. I guess he's waiting till we're finished looking at the menu. <laughs> You can, uh, you, the junk turrets and stun batons are, are more effective. <laughs> that was hilarious. Not gonna lie. That far hilarious. The floor are we on? Uh, seven. Okay. Okay. All right. More water. Cool. And we got plenty of tree seeds, so we'll just replant. We will do that though after the horde because right now we got construction to do. So we're going to get down to the lobby. Let me go all the way down to one this time. Um, because we are going to step one, remove this. I do not want them because if we create a stage here, Um, we do not want them to just oh, go around using the stair other stairs, uh, to get to the second floor and then, um, give it, get us, uh, on the, on the, on the, on the six. We don't want them on our six. So, um, we will cut back this stuff. So we've got, uh, something to work with. And we need the resources, let's be honest. And then once we've sort of cleared this little bit out, then we need to assess like what this is gonna look like and how much of this ridiculously strong uh, stairwell thing do we have to um, like either take out or modify or whatever. So let's see here. So if we get a sense, I wish I had a better pick. I hope I brought repair kits. No. No, wait, I did. Yay. Um, and you were probably saying, I oh, midnight this for right there. I appreciate it.
so once we dig this out, right, we, um, we can get a sense for how this is going to box. And this is the last one here. All right. That's weird how that's like, looks like a nose. All right. So we need a bunch more Uda frames. Let's do like another 25 because I haven't decided if I want to do flagstone or wood, probably flagstone if we've got enough flagstone. But before we figure that out, we need to figure out how much, how many blocks of whatever sort we need. Okay. So step one is yikes. Okay, so this has to go. Uh, okay, well, that's not terrible, I guess. Okay, so there's that. And then, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Do we leave it at six? Hmm. Okay, so that's, so covering just the stairs is uh, 24. Okay, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this. So let's see here, let's make, um, let's just make 30. And, oh, wow, that's so expensive. How much are they each? Well, we can always, we've got the, we've got the goods to make more cobblestone if we need to. All right, so let's say we do this. And I want it to be solid. Even though like to the, to the eye, it does not look solid. Um, okay. And that's a block. So, um, <laughs> All right, let's take care of this. And Oops, oops, oopsies. So sorry. All right. We might as well go ahead and just make more cobble.
And once we take this out, er, okay. So then we go like a soul. And then we need another one, two, three, four, 24. So another 14. Oopsie. Okay, pause you, craft you, resume you. Okay, so now we're doing this. Okay, so here is my plan. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish this. Then we're going to upgrade the outer ones. I didn't forget about upgrade. I just, I just want the zombies to see the whole thing as a full, uh, whatever. And, but we're going to upgrade the ones on the outside and then we're going to make cobblestone or flagstone plates and uh, place those around the outside as I was off by one. How did I do that? Oh, because it was, um, there was a block missing. That's why. Okay. So now we need to cover the whole thing in plates. So this is one, two, three, four, five, 15. I guess we have to do wood to, um, and then upgrade it. That's cool. And while those are cooking, uh, let's give ourselves, whoa, let's give ourselves another row of clearance. Eventually, obviously we got to take out all of this. Oh, did we level up? I think we leveled up during the battle of the stairwell. Let's see here. We did. Hey, where should we spend our point? I was being, uh, I was being funny. We have to spend it on intellect. Uh, let's see. Okay. I got a crazy idea. No, I don't. Wow. We used up a lot of wood fast. That actually makes me nervous. How many bars can we make? Nineteen. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we're about to use up our wood doing this. What time is it? 11.4700 hours o'clock. I didn't upgrade those blocks, did I? Frick. So much for the guy who says he's going to do something. I got so distracted by the wood crisis. Uh, uh, all right, let's keep an eye on this count. 
We may not be able to do the plates. Unless we just limit it, we just limit it to the bottom two rows, right? The economy of, of, uh, not having trees. I was going to say the economy of scale, but that doesn't work here, but it's the only economy word I know. So I was stuck with it. So each bar is six. Okay. Let's see here. I'd rather have the added protection than the bars, especially since we have 43 uh, wood frames. Um, oh, I just do this. Right? We can put the wooden frames. Uh, it's still tight. Um, let's see. This is two, four, six, eight, ten. Or six. Ugh. You're killing me, game. And a plate is six. So I need 24 all day. And this is not an efficient way to get wood. This isn't a whole lot better, but it's what we got. All right, so, all right, at least we've got that. All right, so now we can upgrade these. Oh, frick, <laughs> I forgot about upgrading. Wait, we're out of cobble and, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the crisis is engorging and enlarging and, um, and we are out of time for this episode. So in the next episode, we are going to wrap up the frantic quest, uh, to get this platform ready for the day 14 horde. I mean, worst case in Ontario, we go fight on that stupid thing, but I've fallen less. I've fallen more and more out of love with that thing as time has gone on. So, um, I'm not super into doing that but um yeah we'll see anyway i gotta get going if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more subscribe if you want to start a conversation why don't you start one or in the comment section below another dijon tower challenge is in the books thanks for watching and have a great day